Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Rando Geek. So we have some changes coming to Amazon's Prime Video. So for those that are Prime members, as you know, part of your Prime membership, you can get Amazon's Prime Video to watch. And many customers that have Prime do take advantage of this and enjoy it. Now there are some, mo there's a lot of movies and shows that you actually have to pay for. But for the ones that you don't, you were able to enjoy commercial free entertainment. Well, that's changing. Amazon says that they're going to be adding ads to the regular Prime video subscriptions. Now, they're saying this is going to start as early as 2024, early 2024. So there's no way to avoid this unless you pay more money. There's nothing you can do. Now, Amazon says they can either show you ads you can pay a convenience fee of $2.99 a month to avoid the, the ads or that's it. All right. That's really your only two options. They're saying they don't want to go up on the prime membership altogether. As of right now, they have no plans to do that. They're recently partnered with, I guess, IPG media brands, and they're the ones that are going to help them manage these ads. Amazon is saying that you won't see as many ads as you would with cable TV, but they will be there. Now, to me, as a Prime member, it's disappointing. Do I watch Amazon Prime Video? Not very much, simply because I do feel a lot of the stuff that I would want to watch, I would have to pay for. It's not really free. I've watched a couple of movies, I've watched a couple of shows, and I have enjoyed it when what I'm looking for has been available. But I think that this is, this is really just not good. I think customers that have a Prime membership are getting the shaft. Part of the terms and conditions when you sign up for Amazon Prime is that you get same day or next day delivery, which by the way is, I don't know about you, but for me and other people that I know that have Prime memberships, the delivery is not as quick as it used to be. It's slowing down a lot of the stuff you're waiting two, three days for, or it's not even in stock. So Amazon's got to get their stuff together. They're falling off a little bit and uh, it's not cool, you know? So there's that. And now they want to go ahead and add ads to their free prime video entertainment, which is supposed to be included in your Amazon prime benefits. That's not cool as well. So charging customers two 99 a month for what they were already getting for free is just silly. I don't like when they make changes to things and they go back on their word. If anything, you want to do this, to new customers, fine. Don't do this to existing customers. It's still not cool. You still shouldn't do it, but certainly don't disrupt the, the uh, entertainment for customers that are existing, that have already been prime members. And, you know, guaranteed you're gonna push them away. Guaranteed this is gonna push a lot of people away because as you can see, Amazon is getting too big for its own bridges and uh, people are noticing. People are noticing the change with Amazon. It seems like with every penny they make, they charge you a dollar. And, you know, greed will get the better of you if you continue to go down this route. And I know they're a large company and each customer is a dime a dozen. But at the end of the day, you know, every customer does have its does have its value. There's a lot of customers that are choosing to get in their car and go to stores to shop now. They're getting a little tired of dealing with Amazon. You know, so anyway, what else is going on here? So this will be effective, like I said, early 2024. And it looks like the US, UK, Germany, Canada, France, Italy, Spain, Mexico, and Australia are the uh, countries that are going to be hit by this as of now. All right. Amazon says that these ads, like I said, will be fewer than what you see normally on cable, but they will be there. All right, now this is going to be in effect for movies and TV shows. So anyone that watches movies, you're gonna see an ad pop up during the movie, same thing with a TV show. So it will essentially be just like cable, except they claim not as much. But this, this is the thing with Amazon and what's happening, as mentioned, getting too big for its bridges. This is how it starts, ladies and gentlemen. 
they start to take away things. Okay. In the article, they go on to say about how they don't want to raise the prime membership. Well, that will happen because it's already happened. They've already, they've already raised the prime membership and they will continue to do that. And they will continue to raise the prime membership and give you less. And what's going to happen is eventually people are going to stop using prime and they're either going to wait the two or three days, which is going to ultimately cause people to buy less. A lot of the reason why people use Amazon is because you can get same day or next day. And let's face it, when you buy something that you're really excited to try out immediately, you don't want to wait. If you buy a new phone, if you buy a new laptop, if you buy anything electronic related, you want same day. Hell, even a SIM card, you want to test it right away. You buy Boost Infinite SIM card on Amazon. You want it ASAP. You don't want to wait three days. You want it same day or next day, the latest. And Amazon doing what they're doing, dismantling their prime membership little by little, taking away things, forcing you to watch ads. It's just the start of its own self-destruction. And YouTube is doing the same thing. And a lot of these companies need to reevaluate their business and stop taking it out on the customers. Personally, if Amazon, as large as they are, are feeling like they're losing money, well, they're doing something wrong because everyone buys on Amazon, a lot of money gets spent there, and there's got to be some kind of mismanagement going on in the back, because there's no reason why they feel they should feel like they need to make more money on their Amazon Prime membership when they make more than enough. So I'm going to cut it right here. Let that sizzle. Feel free to comment down below in the uh, comment section. I'm always curious to hear your thoughts about topics like this. As always, I want to thank you for stopping by and watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.